Hey guys, this is Avery from Video Blind, and this is a tutorial that might seem obvious to a lot of people, but I just thought I'd make it because I know a lot of people have pre-built computers or laptops with NVIDIA GPUs in them, and they don't ever update their drivers, and mainly because the GeForce Experience program, which is required to update your drivers, is not installed. Um, or they've never opened it before and it's just not set up so it never lets you know if there are new drivers. So we're going to go over the GeForce Experience program. So the first thing to do is if you don't see it on your desktop, look up GeForce Experience in your in your search on your computer. Make sure you have it installed. If you don't, go ahead and just open up your internet browser. So pull up Chrome and we're going to go to uh, GeForce Drivers. And it's going to bring us to this page right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and search up the the drivers uh, for for our computer. So my computer has a GTX 980 in it. So we're going to go to the 900 series. I'm going to say that I have a 980. Uh, I'm running Windows 10, 64-bit English, and then you can just do do all for that. Do start search and it'll pull up. We're just gonna do the most recent driver here. Go ahead and start the download. Agree and download. And save it somewhere on your computer where you, where you wanna download it. And then once that's done, it'll, it's like 300 something megabytes, so it'll take a little bit to download, and then open it up and get it installed. It's pretty easy. So that will get you the newest drivers. If you already have it on your computer, you wanna go ahead and open up your GeForce Experience, and you'll see that load up real quick. If there are any updates for the program itself, it should update when it's starting up, so it might take a little bit longer than, than mine is right now. Um, but just let it do its thing, let it update the program, let it update your drivers. Okay, so yep, there was an update for my, my version of GeForce Experience, so it's, this is why, this is why you never get the, the driver update notifications, just because this program always needs to be fully up to date for it to give you the notifications, and they release updates so often for it that it's almost never up to date. So you usually have to go in and manually update your GeForce experience and manually check for, for new GPU drivers. And there we go. So this is gonna show you all the games that it recognizes automatically. Um, they have all sorts of tutorials on the software. I'm not gonna go into it. We're just gonna go to the drivers at the top. And yep, there we go. There's a new, new version that came out uh, 15 days ago. So we're gonna go ahead and do download. And this, like I said, it's going to be about 300, it looks like 400 something megabytes now. This will take a few minutes to download for me, um, so I'll let that go. Just a moment, it'll, it'll let us know that we can install it. There we go. So I would usually just do express installation. Custom installation you can always do. Um, it's nice if you just want to do your GPU drivers. So I might actually do that right now, but I would usually go through and and do your express installation because that will update all of nvidia's software on your on your computer and it's pretty much just one or two clicks to get the uh the, all the drivers installed so it's gonna obviously prompt you to make sure you're an administrator because you're installing some new software okay there we go so these are all the different things it's going to install um like i said you can opt out of some of these so if you don't want your 3d vision controller Driver, well, you, you definitely want that. Um, you want you want the 3D vision stuff. Um, PhysX is probably a good thing to to get there. You don't need to update your audio driver unless there were any issues with it, but you might as well do it if it's going to do them all at once for you. Um, if you push Express installation, it'll basically skip this step and install them all for you. So that's what I usually do. So I'm going to go ahead and press install, and this is where it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, usually it's going to be less than 10 minutes, probably closer to five minutes. And first you're going to see it says it's uninstalling. So that means it's uninstalling your graphics driver, your physics, your audio driver, all sorts of stuff like that. And once it finishes uninstalling these, um, it's going to go ahead and reinstall the newer versions that you just downloaded. So this progress bar here is going to fill up. <laughs> it's going to fill up as it goes along. Um, definitely your screen is going to flicker a bunch of times. And I would close any games and anything like that that you have running there's a very good chance that it's gonna kill the, the capture software that I have running right now. Um, but yeah, just let it let it go. It's installing the graphics driver already. Like I said, definitely less than 10 minutes, um, probably less than five minutes, but 
it differs from computer to computer. Um, so just let that run, and once that's done, it'll bring you back to the software, it'll say that you're you're up to date, and you'll be all set to go. So I would just check on that software every once in a while, see if there's any new graphics drivers. Especially if you're looking at the new AAA games, having the latest drivers is definitely going to help out with just better performance on those games. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And if you want to see more tutorials and gaming videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.